The RTX GPU has three fundamental processors. The programmable shader that we first introduced over 15 years ago, RT core to accelerate the ray triangle and ray bounding box intersections, and AI processing pipeline called Tensor Core. Let's look at one frame trace of a game to see the processors of RTX in action. Adding ray tracing to games dramatically increases the computation workload. Using shaders to do ray traversal and object intersection reduces the frame rate. We added the RT core, which reduces shader workload by 60%. Using the same methodology as Microsoft Xbox, the RT core is effectively a 34 teraflop shader, and Turing has an equivalent of 45 teraflops while ray tracing. Even then, 20 milliseconds is only 50 frames per second. This is where the Tensor Core and DLSS come in. Rendering to a lower resolution, then using AI and super fast Tensor Core to effectively double frame rate. Now you can get ray tracing, get high resolution, and high frame rate at the same time. That's the magic of the three processors of RTX. Turing was our first generation RTX GPU, combining ray tracing, programmable shading, and AI. Let me show you our new RTX GPU. Ampere does two shader calculations per clock versus one on Turing. 30 shader teraflops compared to 11. Ampere doubles ray triangle intersection throughput. And Ampere's new tensor core automatically identifies and removes less important DNN weights. 28 billion transistors built on Samsung 8N NVIDIA custom process. All three processors double rates over Turing, a triple double. It connects to Micron's new G6X, the fastest memories ever made. Ampere is an incredible two times the performance and energy efficiency of Turing. And real application performance highlights Ampere's new RT core. The more ray tracing is done, the greater the Ampere speed up. At NVIDIA, we use every engineering lever to squeeze every drop of performance out of the system. From architecture, custom process design, circuit design, logic design, packaging, custom series I.O., memory, power, and thermal design, PCB design, software, and algorithms. Ladies and gentlemen, our new flagship GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. It is wonderfully crafted. Let's see how the 3080 stacks up to previous generation architectures on the latest graphics intensive games. Ampere is the biggest generational leap we've ever had. 3080 is twice the performance of 2080 at the same price, starting at $699. Available September 17th. You're gonna love the new RTX 3070. Faster than the 2080 Ti, starting at $499. Available in October. Twice the shader, twice the ray tracing, and twice the tensor core. The triple double. Now let me tell you about some of the other exciting technologies inside. Turing used G6, the fastest memories at that time. For Ampere, we had to push through that limit. Working with Micron, we designed the world's first memories with PAM4 signaling, pulse amplitude modulation, with four voltage levels that encode two bits of data each, 00011011. So in the same period of time, G6X can transmit twice as much data as G6. The Ampere thermal architecture is the first ever flow-through design, working harmoniously with PC chassis cooling system, pulling in cool air from the outside, flowing through the GPU, and pushing hot air straight out the chassis. To allow room for a fan to flow air directly through the module, our engineers architect a super dense PCB design that is 50% smaller than previous. 3080 flow-through system is three times quieter and keeps the GPU 20 degrees cooler than the Turing design. It can cool 90 watts more than Turing. Several years ago, we started building the Titan. There is clearly a need for a giant GPU. So we made a giant Ampere. Ladies and gentlemen, the RTX 3090. 3090 is a beast, a ferocious GPU, a BF GPU, 36 shader teraflops, 69 RT teraflops, 285 tensor teraflops, and it comes with a massive 24 gigabytes of G6X. 10 times quieter and keeps the GPU 30 degrees cooler than the Titan RTX design. But there's more. That for the very first time, 
we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. This is insane.